Ryan, when I first met you over five years ago, I would have never guessed the man walking up to me on the steps of the British Museum with his long hair tied back in a man bun and the outline of a skull tattoo on his forearm would one day be the man I would proudly call my husband today. When we made the decision to go into an intercontinental relationship, I don't think we really understood what we were signing up for. <laughs> there was a lot of trying to make time in between work and having a social life and aligning the time zones. But all those years of daily video calls really developed our communication. Because I never understood the concept of having an other half until you weren't able to call me because you had to work through lunch or when I was caught up in an event and I couldn't message you. But what I'm trying to say is, um, my day feels incomplete when it's without you. And while I can definitely be without you, and we've had a lot of practice to prove that, I would prefer not to be ever again. Even if that means moving halfway around the world from home, and even if that means I only get to enjoy the sun every once in a while now. So when Suhanya met Ryan five years ago, we could see that she had a different glow about her. Soon it became clear how much Ryan meant to her. In May 2018, when Ryan asked my permission to propose to my daughter, there was no hesitation whatsoever on my part. I thought that there was no one that was going to be good enough for you. And then I met Brian, and I'll admit I had my doubts because Brian was a very tall MMA fighting cage fighter, and I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, who is this? Who is this big man that's going to come up and steal my sister away from me? And then I saw how Brian interacted with my sister. The amount of love, devotion, kindness. How he looks at her, how he treats her. I don't think I've genuinely ever seen that kind of love. The first time I met Sue, I just knew that you were going to click with our family. Although, word of warning, don't get caught with Sue and Sanj together because they will ask you questions about your emotions and your feelings and I'm pretty sure there's a circle of hell devoted to that sort of thing. So let's go back to Ryan and actually say some nice things about him. <laughs> Firstly, he's, he's selfless. Well, during the pandemic, moved back from London to look after our grandpa Pamps. Um, stayed with him for weeks, um, just looking after him, making sure he's all right um, as he was poorly. Um, and that, that sums up Ryan completely, to be honest. Like, he put anyone before himself. We are incredibly excited as you enter this new phase of your life. Even we have to adjust with the reality that you will be physically moving away from our part of the world. Ryan, Suhani has been the light of my life for the last 28 years and today I hand her over to you. I know you will love her and cherish her every bit as much as I do. May you both always bring out the best in each other and always remember that we are here for you. I love you, Suhanya, and I'm incredibly happy that after so long we're finally able to be here together. From this day, I vow to support, comfort and encourage you in all that you do during the ups and downs we may experience during our lives together. I promise to make you laugh at least once a day and not just with jokes based about you. I promise to try being 5 minutes late for every meeting instead of 10 minutes late to reduce your anxiety. I promise to be honest and open with you, but to ignore the clock and accept that you are always on time. I pledge to have all the passion and patience that real love demands, even when you park 50 meters away from the nearest exit in a completely empty parking lot. <laughs> I promise to consider your needs enough to let you have shared control over the heating. And yes, I love you that much. May our days together 
be long <laughs> and continue to be filled with laughter, love and understanding. I intend to love you, hold you and grow cranky and old with you and make you as happy as you make me every day. <laughs>